I was a little surprised to see you make national news this week as you unveiled that you had never tasted a condiment. It had a, <laughs> had a lot of people talking. You'd never tasted a condiment. Did yeah, you? I, I'm, I'm fascinated and puzzled <laughs> by the fact that, that people find this interesting or that this would be any form of headline on a slow news day on a Thursday. But, but really, the, the part that, that struck me was the term claims to have never, <laughs> as if... This would be the hill <laughs> that I would die on, lying about the fact that I don't care for condiments. Uh, whatever I say is factual. I, I don't, I'm not making up stories to create Internet headlines. So I'm glad I, I've had this opportunity to, to clarify. My I'm only not claiming I, I've never had it. <laughs> my, my only question is, you've called so many great events in the past. Does this take you out of the running to ever call a condiment race at a baseball ballpark, you know, ketchup versus mustard versus relish in those big costumes. No, no, quite I think... the opposite. Oh, okay. I, I don't think you're seeing this clearly. <laughs> okay. I would have complete unbiased commentary. I have no bias. So most announcers that would call a condiment race, yeah. they like ketchup a little more than mustard or they're big mayo guys. Sure. I have no no interest in gearing my coverage towards one particular condiment. So I'm the perfect guy, in fact. Ring my agent. I'm in. <laughs> right. We report the facts. You decide. <laughs> in the great condiment race of 2021.